For a healthy body and a healthy mind Follow these steps and you'll be fine Drink lots of water to keep the body cool and clean Carbohydrates to keep you moving Repair muscles, you need protein Healthy fats keep the brain working Do vitamins and minerals ring a bell? Yes, they keep the body working Bienvenido. Welcome to Cooking Healthy with Chef Tutti. This is a program brought to you by the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council. Now this program is designed to address food security through utilizing local produce and reducing food waste in Grenada, Caracu, and P.T. Martinique. Now I see some things here on the counter. So tell us Chef Tutti, what are we preparing today? Well, today we're preparing a cochineal and banana flour sulfur sauce. Very interesting. Cochineal. And then we have the banana flour. Yes. Um, any other ingredients we have? Well, as usual, you know, we're putting a little like cabbage. We have here like a quarter cabbage, a small piece, small medium tomatoes some bell peppers, we're not using all, yes, piecing it, cutting in julienne, right? We have one cup of grated carrot to put in it, to give it some nice, brighter color. And we have some garlic, seasoning pepper, onion, and scythe. And we have here a quarter cup of oil. We have the ingredient here, salt fish, that have been washed already, and boil it and wash, and we trying to take out the majority of salt in it to avoid people consume too much sodium in the body. So if you don't want a salt at all, you could boil it two, three times and rinse it and take out all the salt. But you still with the seasoning we have local to resolve the flavor and enjoy your dishes. Well done. So I'm interested and I'm excited for us to get this dish prepared really. Thank but um, we can talk about the nutritional value because yes, it might be a first time for you and a first time for another trying the cochineal. Some of us, yes, we have already tried it, but do you know what are you getting from this cochineal? No, the cochineal is from the cacti family and here we can get lovely fiber, so we have the insoluble and we have the soluble fiber feeding the gut bacteria. So thinking about bacteria in the gut, good prebiotics, as well as the banana flower. So both of them would give you good fiber that would help manage cholesterol numbers. So if you usually have high numbers, this would help you. Also, we think of high blood pressure. And Grenada here, we have the people coming down with the chronic illness of hypertension. This too here would help manage blood pressure numbers because there's the fiber, yes, there is potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Those minerals would help control blood pressure readings. There are a few minerals there, other minerals that can assist in bone health, immune system. So if you are using this, a nutritious treat for you. Be strong. Very good. So now we go show you how to prepare the cochineal cactus and the banana flour. Okay? The first thing we're doing is washing it properly. Okay? So we come in with running water. So we are washing to remove all maybe foreign um, Maybe there may be insect, dirt, so you need to, your food to be safe. So he's washing it properly. Now you can use um, a brush, especially for your food items, not those you would use to clean your house, okay? We want to be safe here. Same thing with the flour. Same as the flour, he's washing it as well, removing anything that might cause any harm to your gut rally. We're not using this oxide part, but still, we want to remove any dust or any, you know, So the outer layer, we can use it after maybe as a plate to put this when we're finished. And the inner part, he will show us how we're going to use this. Right. 
So we're starting with the cochineal foss. Foss team, we want to remove the little bumps in it. Okay? So what we're doing this, with a knife or a little knife, we just kind of scratch it. If you find a little hard, you're taking it off. Right? This one is not so bad like other type of cactus. It has the big picas. But some people just don't want to see that when you give them, you know, in the, in the plate. So it's recommended to take it off. But some people, they don't do it. But, you know, trying to do it. So you see Chef is using a knife. And using a knife, you need to be very careful. So if it's your first time using a knife, know how you're holding it. See how he's holding a knife. And the direction you may go, mm -hmm. if it's your first time, you may not want to go towards you, but away from you. So that way, it's safe. You may not cut yourself. Okay. So, the next step now, we're cutting this end here, about an inch. This is kind of hard. So we remove it. Then, we come in here, in the side. So we're mm. peeling the we're outer peeling part. It. So just as you're peeling a fruit or so, or you're peeling your... This part, we remove very it. Very well. And for the surface shards now, we're cutting in long size, mm, small. See? Like cucumber. Mm. No, it doesn't make even nice look like a cactus. small dice. We're putting it together and we come in and dice it up nicely. See how mm. he's holding the knife again? Look at his fingers. And always your finger, this one inside, and this is the guy you finger nail to avoid accident, right? Mm. Nice. So we put in it, this ball. So the next procedure is to take out the little slimy half in it. So when we cut the banana, we have a little water here, boiling. We go add a little teaspoon of salt and a small, you know, teaspoon of vinegar. That will help to remove the slime in the cochineal and the little bitterness you have in the banana flowers. Okay? So let's go now and do the banana. We cut in it here and always remove those things. The, the, about the tall flowers first, once, right? So the first set is usually bitter. Very so bitter. We are so removing remove it. this. See, this little banana. Some people also do the same procedure, but we have a little like a bone inside that you have, it takes time to clean. So we will use it next time. So what we're doing now, we're cutting it in half. Okay? So it look. And then it have a like a hot. See? Like Christophine, you remove it. See? Why are we move, removing this, Chef? Because it's very hard. Okay. Right? In comparison with the floor, it's a very soft and nice vegetable. So what we're doing, we're using half in this. It's simple. We come in here and we're cutting in nice. Hmm? Remember, look at how he's using the mm. knife. Cutting it. Coming here. That's it. And we're putting it there together with the cochineal. So we come in here now. We are boiling already. So we just put in half a teaspoon of salt and a small amount of vinegar. With the same cover, about two covers. Right? That's it. And it's boiling already. And we're going to put everything in it. Okay? A spoon. To help. Right? And we will leave there around 10 to 12 minutes. When you finish, we go rinse it up and wash it up and we will put it aside to steal with the other procedure. So we just giving a little wash here. 
So is this the same cutting board we are using? The same cutting board, but we washing it in case when we cutting any, you know, slime from the cushion hill, you don't want to go in the or a vegetable, we will use cut it now. So we are thinking about food safety. And when we have food safety in the kitchen, we are less likely to get sick. Okay. So let me cut cabbage, small cabbage. Trying to cut up kind of small, not for salad, but you know, still. Mm, always by the end. And mm. cabbage here is also rich in fiber. So if you're thinking of controlling your cholesterol readings, mm. you're controlling your blood sugar readings, this is something that you need on a daily basis, really. Okay, Vegetables. And this is an example. It's a small amount of sulfur, so it's just a little demonstration. So we have a tomato that we're not using the seed. So we slice it in the size, mm. nicely. Mm. Or you want it with the seed, that's okay. And we remove that. Mm. Nice, and what we're doing with this? Mm. Small Imagine. Julia. As a vegetable as well, it mm. is rich in fiber. There are some vitamins in there, vitamin C. Okay, so if you're small. thinking You of want to dice it, anything how you want it, you're doing it. Sorry. Right? We have some bell peppers here. We're using just a little piece. Same thing. Nice bell pepper. And mm. this is a good treat as well of vitamin C. Going Genesis. nice, Julia. Come in there. A little scythe. <laughs> you still. You know. So we have our seasoning here, yes, the side. And this mm. side here has some antioxidant properties that can help with inflammation. If you're thinking of controlling your numbers again of blood pressure, this is something that you want to use when you're preparing your dishes. And with the cochineal banana flour salad we're preparing today, we are using it as you can see. Now we have nice seasoning paper, three single ones. So Are we, we using the seeds? Out. We're removing the seed in it. Hmm? And why are we removing the seeds, Chef? Well, it's recommended to remove the seed because sometimes our body is hard to digest this seed that a little hard, it could cause some problem inside us. So for safety, it's good to re remove it. Or sometimes in the seed, it will be a little hot. That's what I also thought, yes. You the know? seeds are, they contain yeah. all the so pepper in them. If you want it a little hot, you don't mind. You leave in the seed because it's very flavorous. But in this case, it has children around with moving the seeds in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't need the knife for the removal of the seeds. You could use the knife, but this knife is a little big, but still you come in, in this end here with a little point. So just at the tip of the yes, knife. Yes, tip of the knife and take it up. Mm? Interesting. With the knife coming here and just take it up. Well, sometimes so, you feel comfortable with your yes, finger, it's more faster, boys. Very good to use the knife. So we're going now. So we're cutting it. Nice. Nice mm. technique again. Mm. You want it small. Some people know like I like me so sulfur to see all the seasoning, you know. The size. But if you don't want it, you just cut it in small and you dice in it. Okay? It's no problem. Okay, so we let's go. Can I do that? Can you do that? Look at that knife. Wow. Right. Going. Going. I 
he's done. Wow. Okay. We have a little piece of onion, about half a small onion. We're doing the same thing. Julia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming so now. Nice Julian onion. We have it there. I see garlic. Are we doing the garlic the same? The same thing. Garlic. Three. Small. Cut it small first. Long. And then you chop it in the size here. So Very garlic. small. So garlic, we use garlic mm -hmm. in our everyday cooking. What are the benefits? So some of you may know I use garlic for fighting infections. If I have a UTI, if I have the flu, I may eat a clove of garlic. And within hours, by the end of the day, I'm all good. Now also it's used to control blood pressure readings. And I'm sure that many of you already, you're doing that. But what I would advise, if you're using these things, consult your medical professional. If you are on medication, sometimes if you use too much of this, it can lower the blood pressure readings by some dangerous levels. So please, if you are using this, do not use too much of it, especially with the medication at the same time. And to best bet, consult with your doctor or your dietitian or nutritionist, and you will be guided accordingly on the use of these things in your diet. So what we start, we have this. This is how the cochineal cactus and the banana flower looks. Hmm? So it look. Okay? So all that slime. So rock. all the slime, everything, you know, see in it. Oh. Beautiful. Just like vegetable, any vegetable. How it look? Like small cucumber dice, hmm? and look the banana flower. How nice it is, sorry. Hmm? Must be delicious. Very much so. Thank you so much. So what we have here in the beginning, we are starting with the little oil. Is it coconut oil you're using? Well, in this time, no, it's supposed to be coconut oil. No? So if you're at home and you have coconut oil, that can be your oil of choice. Well, yes. You have your vegetable, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, you know. That you can use. Olive oil, anything you look like more. So tell us about this technique so, now. When are, now. When are we putting in what? When the oil looks how? When the oil looks hot as it is now, we start to put the seasoning first, the onion and the garlic. All the seasoning, right? See how it looks. And the seasoning sounds. <laughs> Good. Mm. Right? You sauteing it nice. They sauté it nice. So you smell it the fragrance to give all the full nice flavor. Mm. So nice. you just want to flip it a few yes, times or you don't need to flip it? Yeah, well, you can slip it or well, remove it, you store it. Yes, for me, I feel comfortable doing it with the... With well, the I know, you don't have that. Well, when you practice with me, you can handle it. Okay, so that's no problem. Okay, chef. That's no problem. So what we're doing now, the nice cushion in, cactus and the banana flower going in it. Wow, my goodness. Mm. Mm. Smell nice, boy. Mm -mm. Wow, Beautiful. look at that. We have a lovely look aroma in the that. kitchen right now. Oh, I'm looking at ready. And if you are preparing mm. this right now, wow. Mm. My nice. stomach is being prepared now. Very nice. I have to tie it in. 
Very good. Are we waiting a few seconds now, a minute? Well, about two minutes we're waiting and we added the rest of the cabbage, the carrot, the bell peppers, and last we put in the salt fish. Okay. Right? Um, is it advisable to cover the pot or we are not, we're just leaving it open? No, it's not recommended to cover the pot because it could start to let go juice, liquid. We don't want this recipe too wet. Oh. You know, you don't want it to start to let go, especially the cochineal, it could let go more juice in it. We want to dry it nice with the oil, mm -hmm. as you see in the, hmm? Nice, see? Just a little oil with the as it, seasoning. As it looks translucent here. Yes, very Beautiful. nice. So now, we put in the carrot. Hmm? And we put in cabbage also. Everything. Mm -hmm. For the food nice, eh? With the tomatoes, you see in the carrots. And if you have yellow bell pepper, you can mix it in to have mix more it in. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Definitely. Appealing to the eyes. More. You know we eat it with our eyes first. Mm -hmm. More so colorful. It, good, it should taste good, right? Oh my goodness! You don't see that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That looks so good. Can we stop and let's eat this thing? It's too hot. Then we wait a little. Mmm. <laughs> Very nice. Smells good, boy. Okay, so now we put in the salt fish. It's very easy. Salt fish, very. So when our fishermen go, they go out and they get the nice fish of your choice. You can con it yourself, and we have lovely local con fish to have in our cochineal cactus. That's Banana right. flower salad. Very nice. Salty salad. Very nice. Excellent. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Yes, two minutes. I have mm. never tried to cook the meal and banana flour and salty salad. Chef, thank you. So this is the end of this beautiful dish, the cochineal cactus and the banana flour sulfi sauce. This has been Cooking Healthy with Chef Turi, a program brought to you by the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council. We'll be here twice a month, showcasing unique ways to prepare our local foods as we work together to keep Grenada food secure. For a healthy body and a healthy mind, follow these steps and you'll be fine. Drink lots of water, keep the body cool and clean. Carbohydrates to keep you moving. Repair muscles, you need protein. Healthy fats keep the brain working. Do vitamins and minerals ring a bell? Yes, they keep the body working.